but there are certain things, certain expectations I have, and it's not my fault though. For instance, let me give you guys an example. Before we got married, this guy will visit me, he will go to the kitchen, he will wash the plate. There was even a time I remember <laughs> that I was not even because I hate like, Doing laundry. So there was a time we came to my house and I had this huge like laundry I had to do. This guy packed everything out. I washed them. So you see that it's not my fault. It's not just an expectation that was just built on nothing. It was built on what I saw until we got married. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, so and uh, we are back like we never left. <laughs> Never left. Anyways, actually our anniversary one year anniversary was like how many months ago? Three or two months ago. One month to two months ago. One month ago. Oh, no, 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 I was talking to my birthday. <laughs> yeah, it was last month. month. Yeah, second of October. Yeah. So we were supposed to do like anniversary party or video. We actually did one one month anniversary. Yeah, one month. <laughs> like what we blend in one month of marriage. So we thought, okay, let's do um one year of marriage, like mm -hmm. how our marriage has been in one year and so here you have it. And before we jump to the title, marriage is a uh, we do not say click the button, subscribe to this channel. We just started <laughs> we are watching us for the first time. Yeah. Click the button. This is Meet the Richards where we just share our story, journey, experience as yeah. a couple. Yeah. So do that please yeah. and God will bless, bless you. you richly the title of this video says first year of marriage is really the hardest and is the case for us <laughs> and yeah so you get to we'll get you get to hear all about me returning his ring i still have it on fortunately you had the f fortunately and for and the you <laughs> to i still have it on for now but we'll get to that gist later so first of all i think you're just going to start we're going to like highlight the problems, the problems mm -hmm. we faced in our first year of marriage and um, also lessons and yeah so i think we yes let's let's just start the introduction is too much yeah number one so one of the first problems that we had was money management so money management in the sense that we always had the plan for not yeah we always like most often will you know, list out the things that we needed money for in order of uh, priority. priority. But then, me that being a flexible person, so when things come up, things that are like um, okay. emergencies or urgent, and so usually I'll go and use money, use the money out of what we had planned. I'll just go and, and and take care of the thing. And usually me that does that. So in my mind, I'll be like. Always. <laughs> <laughs> so in my mind I'll be like, but this is urgent, like this is something that came up and it's important that we need to do it, it's just that we don't capture it in our plan, but it was really a you know a quarrel and all that. So that was the, the first thing that I, I would say that was our struggle yeah. in the first year. Yeah. Right from when we started dating, like when our relationship got serious, we've always had this mentality of our money is our money. So if we have something that we want to do, whether the money comes from me or from him, whoever has the money first, we just go ahead and do the things and probably won't start saving or yeah. saving up for that thing. And then maybe when it's time for us to do that thing, and I'll be like, okay, get that money, or okay, let's, and then we'll be like, oh, we've used part of it. And I'm like, me, when, how? <laughs> <laughs> Although what we used it for was something legit, it's not like you just, you know, spend, um, What's anyhow. that? Anyhow, uh -huh. it's still something that is important. But then I feel like there will always be important things, and if they, there's just something about following through with your plan. That's just so. That was the major thing. It used to like make me go mad. Like, <laughs> like it used to make me go mad. So that was that was just it. My philosophy yeah. is: the money is meant for you, not you for the money. So it's you that will, in the end. As as things come up, decide what is. I think the difference the, the difference is that I just don't tell her or make her aware of yeah. of um, that point when the yeah. emergencies come up and then we discuss it and not okay let us do this differently. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the major thing. So that's the lesson from there. Yeah. So moving on, the next thing is something. I hate this point. What we are saying. 
kids now. Let them hear you. You that kid, that's really what I'm talking about. Why, 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 six years for a long time sha i believe they know so basically i'm just I, i'm just used to calling the shots when it comes to my life i don't have to like report to of course except for um authority figures and of course being accountable to you know people and all of that but then majorly i've always been like the one calling the shots when it comes to things in my life i know when we got married it was a major adjustment like for me and I think I wasn't so conscious of it. Like when we got married, that, okay, this is how my husband is the one, is the head of the home. There are some things I should let him just leave it, let him need it, let him handle it. It was a major thing for me. And do you want to? So, that's all I can say about that. This <laughs> lady, she doesn't like to. That's all I can say about that. She doesn't like to be at fault. <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah, the we used to argue and fight a lot about it. And me, one of the things that I knew was that I knew that she wasn't aware of what she was doing. So, and a lot of times, yeah, well, usually, we need to fight an argument and all this. So, a lot of times, me, I'll just let it go and, and not like be like, it must be what I said, it must be what I said, that yeah. kind of thing. My, my belief is that this is a long, maybe we'll touch on that later. My belief is that. Um, it's a long term relationship, so at some point, even if she doesn't understand it now, she will understand it later on. And a lot of the decisions that we've had to make is that they are not decisions that are do or die affairs, yeah, yeah that kind of thing. So, okay. so, number three is maintaining culture and discipline. So, this one is I know, in, in every marriage or family needs a culture, um, culture is what sets the tone for the relationship. So, for us, we have the plans or follow through. Mm. You know, for things like waking up in the morning to say your prayers, or things like um, you know following through on a plan that we've created, maybe for bu a budget that we've created, yeah. or you know a new habit or a new thing that we want to start doing, maybe reading, or you know that that has been the issue. You know, maintaining a culture and following through on it. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's that, that's the problem I would say. So the next thing here is lack of understanding. The thing is, whenever we have disagreement, it's really not the bigger things, weighty things. It's usually all these small, small things. <laughs> I'll put it that way. So I feel like um, lack of understanding is in the sense that he is seeing things from his own perspective and expects me to see it that same way. And I am saying things from my own perspective and expecting him to see it that way. So there is always a clash. So it's always like he will complain that. Um, I don't listen to you, that's what you always say, like, I don't hear him, and me, I'm like, you too, you don't hear me, you don't understand what I'm saying, it should be like this, it should be like that. We have different perspectives on issues, and both of us is expecting the other person to see it their own way, so that's... I think the thing is that on major issues, mm -hmm. we share the same... Um, yeah. We share the same ideology or belief yeah. and our values on major things. For mm. example, being through Christians, mm. money management in mm. terms of spend on priorities. Mm. So on major things we share similar. I think the, the what what we argue on is the how. Yeah. So the process. The process of achieving that thing. Yeah. So the, pro the process of achieving that thing. So yeah. You are not seeing my sis my own way as correct. Work and work. As work and work. <laughs> I'm not seeing her own way as work and work. That kind of thing. So that's yeah. usually where the issue is. Issue is mm. yes, that's true. I like how you put it. You know, you know, we are too smart. You know. Sense. We have sense. You know. Try to not kill you. Next thing is home management. Ah, it's not on my list. It's on my list. It's on your own list. I am continuing. What's on your own list? No, continue, continue now. So, home management. You already know this, so I think we've spoken about this a lot of times. Yeah. On this side, <laughs> even that I do not don't know how to manage the home. Like, it's always one, wow. one, one, one foot on one. Wow. I'm always correcting how change wow. to wear slippers, where wash the, wash the beat, all those things, wow. all, all the time. I'm sorry that you know the truth about I'm that. Done, done, done. So, home management in the sense that I can be a perfectionist in the things that 
I have interest in. So things like sometimes like cleaning the house, um, wearing slippers around there. If I've heard these slippers over and over again, but it was still an issue, a big one in the house. So there are certain things, certain expectations I have. And it's not my fault too. For instance, let me give you guys an example. Before we got married, this guy will visit me. He will go to the kitchen. He will wash the plate. There was even a time I remember <laughs> that I was not even because I hate like, I hate doing laundry. So there was a time he came to my house and I had this huge like laundry I had to do. This guy packed everything out. I washed them. So you see that it's not my fault. It's not just an expectation that was just built on nothing. It was built on what I saw until we got married. <laughs> you want to defend yourself from yes. <laughs> yeah, like the like <laughs> 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 And to lift the spoon is a problem. Although I know that because he has a lot on his plate, um, when it comes to work, his job is much, much, much more demanding than my own. Even he helps he still helps with mine. So I understand the fact that because he has a lot on his plate, but then there are certain things I still expect. Like even if you will not do it, just see that even if you will not wash the bedroom, just I just needed to notice that the bedroom is dirty. It needs to be washed. So even if you come and tell me that ah, babe, the bedroom is dirty, or, ah, or this bedroom, but he will not even notice. He can just. I think I'm talking too much. I'm not interested. Like, <laughs> no. So, so the thing is that uh, she always thinks I don't notice. Me, I notice those things, but I, I don't like to say things that are not followed up with action. So for me, it's always about when I see those things, I notice, I can come into a place and notice that this place is not this place is not organized. But if I'm not ready to clean it up, or I have something else that is more important that I want to do, I know if you do like I notice that thing, I just go and focus on what I need to do that is a priority. So she said, which is, I'm not saying is the best, because she thinks I'm, I'm not noticing those things. I notice it. And the second thing is that I am very much more adaptive. So I can come into an environment and and utilize the place the way it is <laughs> and, and be in that place the way it is and the place can be dirty and you still so, can be open your laptop and be working yes if what i want to do then is more important, more important and I, it's urgent i will stay there and do what i need to do but when i now finish if there's even a finishing because me, hey, hey, you always never finish <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'll now pay attention, but generally I notice those things around, and it's just that I, I don't like to talk about things and not relate to action. That's just me. So, so we better not even talk about it at all than to talk about it and not do anything about it. So that's the way it is for me. And then another thing about this this cleaning, um, organizing the house, and all those things thing is that. It's a strong place for her. It's not a strong place for me. Yeah. Accepted. And the thing also, most times I feel like I'm, 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 I want to improve on it, but you want me to improve fast. Yeah. Immediately on it and everything in one in less than one year to become perfect in cleaning the house, organizing, you know, spotting things and all those things. And this is a journey. It's a process. You no, know? it's not a one day thing. So. I'm always trying to make her understand that that you gotta calm down. <laughs> this brother is interested in improving. You gotta give him space and time. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I can take they share part of the blame in that because I can be impatient with the things. If I tell you take out the trash, I want you to get up and take out the trash now. That is why, like every time she says all those things, she wants me to. Do, how I'm just so restless because I know that she will just be wondering about the place. When's the first she wants me to do it? The first day, when I'm cleaning the house. I, like, I hate it when she's cleaning the house. Like, I'm not so happy so my day. It's only like, don't even breathe. <laughs> don't even breathe. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that uh, that sums up the problems slash challenges that we had. And then we're going to now move to the, the lessons. One. We didn't talk about fault finding and not taking a lot yeah, of times I felt like she was just looking for the next fault to find so and it was always uh, you know bringing conflict because i like I'm, my philosophy is that look even if i solve this problem to have become good at this thing today i know that you know you will start find another thing and then that you find another thing and then you find another thing that kind of thing is there no point where you just yes. let yeah. things be that kind of thing or yeah. so 
yeah. and the first time they, yeah, that's what for me that was the like. So the story that happened that I returned you. Uh-huh. Why did you return my list? <laughs> right. Explain yourself. So actually, that day we went to an Airbnb now. Yeah, yeah. We were so supposed to work. Yes, we, we, we both were supposed to work on um, a project and we needed like stable lights and stable internet yeah. fast internet rather so we just got a place and it was all cool we've even finished the work mm. and i think it was the next day mm. when we cost that fight i cannot remember <laughs> 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 it was very heated it was heated, heated I think, talking yeah i think i think process. it was still um like it, what cost it was something that lingered for yeah, a while, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was just like the breaking point for us, for me especially. And I did, I just, I removed the ring, I just mm-hmm. threw it. Mm-hmm. I threw it back for me. I threw it back to 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 me. I really like, I felt like I was, I was like, I was just done. I'm like, this thing, I'm not doing it again. Just take your ring. And then when he came back home and we, we started with it, I was like, what is my ring? <laughs> I told her I just liked her at the bank. I left it at the bank. So you know that I carried my ring. So yeah, that was uh, just to let you know that yes, we got to that point and it was that bad at that point. So yeah. So the lessons from this is that number one is that you cannot force your spouse to be better um, immediately. Give you time. So yeah, is this is a marriage? Like it's not the is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So um, there are a lot of improvements that need to be done, a lot of adjustments, a lot of learning, a lot of growing. Yeah. So if you are you two of you are arguing, I want her or him to understand immediately. Now I'll get it now, get it now, change now. Yeah, you are in on a long, yeah. a very long thing. So give it time. Yeah, give it time. So because at a point when we are having all these issues, and to be honest, I'm always the one like bringing up things most of the time. Uh, because I'm kind of the receiver of is it the receiver? I don't know what you want to say. Yeah, you're always one doing things that are wrong. So you want to have to come to me. No, but I'm always the one that has to come to me. Just because just because I don't talk about the things that yeah. you do wrong. You are more tolerant. Uh, that's what mean that so, I see things yeah. that you do wrong. You are more tolerant. Uh, so you don't bring up issues all the time. Uh, but, so it became like very toxic. Like very, very toxic. The house is just literally there was no there was no peace. <laughs> that was how it was. There was no peace and at a point that, that was just like what our relationship was about and so um it wasn't a good place to be so we just had to i just had to come to the realization that see hey, there are some things you just a lot of just looking over things and uh, you did not wear slippers so the world will not end just leave it you did not wash the plate just leave it and one thing i found out also is that I'm not talking the fact that i'm always talking about that thing every day every day there's no way is going to improve or mm-hmm. will be willing to even if it's willing to there is still something about ego a lot of times it's not your talking that changes yeah it's not it's not your talking experience. it's just you have to give it that time for that thing for that change to be effected the way you want it so it's not it's not that you can talk from now to tomorrow you'll just keep talking and you become the toxic person and the nagging yeah. person at the end of the day so i'd learn to just you know that i can remember there was a time when uh, the thing about authority mm-hmm. so there was we were always having conflict with that time and as much as i said it he was not understanding it but it, it took a a video of um it was this one pastor, 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 pastor Mildred. Mildred. Oh, yes oh, yeah. Yeah, it took a video of pastor Mildred that she watched that was where she got the understanding and the learning about it so it wasn't about how much i talked about it yeah. so sometimes just leave some things. It's not, not, not that much to talk about. It will be somebody else's talk. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes just go and pray about it also. Sure. Just leave it. Sure. The next thing is that disagreement is part of the whole package. In life, everything will not be rosy. It will not mm. all, always be positive. And so it's the same thing with marriage. Disagreement, the fact that we are disagreeing does not mean we, we, hate, made, each yes, we hate each other yeah, or, that we, uh, or that we made the wrong choice with each other. It's just part of it. Um, sometimes for us to come to a good conclusion or a good end about something, we have to, you know, disagree, disagree, and then mm. at the end of the day, 
would be able to make that um, decision together. So this agreement is part of it. Don't be necessarily touchy, sensitive. Yeah. You know, because you are you are arguing, you feel like yeah. ah, he doesn't love me. Mm. It's me not. So long as at the root of that it is. A, a genuine interest yeah. in finding a solution that mm. will build your relationship and move people forward. Mm. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Number three is only God can teach you to love your spouse. It's not by it's not by might. It's not by might. It's not by power. By by power. By power. Then by by power. It's not, it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the spirit of God. So, yeah. no matter how much you do, jing, jing, gri, gri, gra, gra, that uh, to love your wife, really, just see, go and pray to God about it, to put the love in your heart, to overlook any yeah. shortcomings or mistakes or whatever it is. So, that God should put the love in your heart. So, because a lot of times I find myself that no matter how much I I sort of look wise and you know, like. Uh, you know, all those things, but you find that by in the next two hours or three hours, I've got to know why the thing has vanished in my mind to the point that a lot of times I can't even really remember why we were fighting. Yes, uh, so but it's, it's just God that works on your heart uh, and, and to be able to love effortlessly and unconditionally. The number four thing is always count your blessings. So, a lot of times, you can be fixated on the things that are not going well in your marriage, mm -hmm. the fact that you are fighting, the fact that. Yeah, there's not enough money. The fact that I not remember, you not take note of the blessings that you are getting, and the fact that other people have it worse. Yeah. So, um, so you should always remember to take time to appreciate the growth that you are making as a couple. Mm -hmm. Avoid comparing yourself unnecessarily with other people, and know that the most important thing is that you are better than you were yesterday. Yeah, true. So. Um, so all these counts of blessings, spend time to praise God, thank God, and, and be grateful. Mm. But the last lesson we've learned, <laughs> this one is particularly me, <laughs> because this man is patient to a fault. I'm the one that has to calm down. So the last thing is tolerance. Um, we say we love, we love, I love him, I love him. But then when, when those times come, when you feel like, oh, this is not the man I want him to be, or he's not doing the things I want him to do, uh, the major thing that can just help you overcome that phase is tolerance. Tolerating that, just like you said earlier, this person is still growing, this person is new to this, um, this person is not doing this because he hates you. Mm. You understand? So tolerance. Somebody said it, I think, when before we got married, but then... I do not I do not understand the weight of tolerance. Sometimes it's even more than love because you will not always feel that love for, yeah. your, for your spouse. Mm. But what will keep you going is tolerance. Mm. Just tolerating. Tolerating. You want this person to change. Yes, it's, it's, it's this person that's something that he called it for bear. Yeah, yeah, it was for bear. Yeah, not yeah. even tolerance. Yeah. It was after we got married. Yes, it was after we got married. Yeah. For bear yeah. yeah. is for the, before the person, before the person who does the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the one thing I I I noticed that I practice lately. Yes, 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 she has started practicing lately. Mm? <laughs> so most of the time the things that before would have gotten me so worked up and angry, I just been like yesterday now, I told me mm. to take out the trash and it did not. I just I was just like, okay, in the morning you'll do it and it's like afternoon now, you are still not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so before now, I would have gotten angry. I would have, you know, gotten up and be like, I'm going to do it myself. And that being me myself, I did it for a long time more until I started getting tired. Because how many things will I do myself? Mm. That's the truth. How many things will I do myself? So, and if continuing, that, continuing, continuing in that um Shuffle. in that part <laughs> or in that way, we will we'll, we'll just make you used to. Oh, she says that she do it, and if I don't do it in one minute, she will do it herself. So why do I even need to um, stand up quickly or get so worked up? She, she's going to do it anyways. So it's just going to get used to doing that, and that's not what I want. So yeah. yeah. So thank you guys very much. I hope you have learned things from this. Please let us know the lesson that stood out for you, or the experience, or even share your own experience also in the comment section. We'd like to read it. So, maybe at some point we can read it out so yeah. that people can, you know, yeah. learn from it also. So, make sure you subscribe to this channel, share this video to your friends and your enemies, and 
See you in the next video. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye.